Greetings, one and all. Welcome to NHL Ideas, the show where I discuss certain ideas that could be implemented within the NHL or the hockey world as a whole. Today's topic is five potential further NHL expansion cities. Now, as most people that keep relatively up to date with the league will know, the NHL is changing into a 31-team league at the start of next season with the new Las Vegas franchise becoming a part of the league. Now, I believe that the, the league needs to be evened out. I think 31 teams is such an odd, weird number to have as a league total. So I think there should be at least one more team. Make it 32. Even it out. That would fill up the other division as well, so that would make sense. So I think there needs to be another team. Now, there are five different teams. I've done a bit of research. There's five different teams or five different cities that could potentially benefit or add another team to the league. So let's take a look at them, shall we? Number one, Quebec City. Yes, this is probably the most logical choice as many hockey fans would love to see a return of the Quebec Nordiques. And it could be imminent as they were one of the teams that may have had a expansion franchise coming into next season. It was three choices. It was Las Vegas, it was Quebec, and it was Seattle. They were the three sort of big ones that people were thinking. So, many Canadian fans would definitely be very happy to see the Nordiques return to Quebec. That would be awesome. And especially in an NHL now that is dominated by American markets. I think there's a lot more American teams than there are Canadian teams. And considering... Ice hockey is Canada's national sport. I think they need some more Canadian teams out there to represent the country. And also, considering the fact that none of them made the playoffs last year, they need a bit of... They need something to, to fire them up, I think. Now, however, according to the Television Bureau of Canada, Quebec would be the second smallest market in the National Hockey League, just ahead of Winnipeg. So there might be a problem with Quebec returning because it apparently isn't a very small market. You'd think that because they have the Nordiques and it's Canada, lots of hockey fans, you'd think the market would be quite big. But compared to some of the other American hockey markets and some of the other Canadian original six hockey markets, Quebec might not turn into a franchise just because of the size of their market. Number two. Seattle, yes, one of the three potential expansion cities for the 2017-18 season behind Quebec and Las Vegas. Seattle has several WHL teams around the Seattle area and actually, fun fact, was home to the first American team to win the Stanley Cup back in like the 1920s, I believe, or something like that. However, there was no formal application for NHL expansion received by the league by the July 20th deadline from Seattle so it's looking like Seattle isn't interested at the moment at an expansion or they don't feel like they can house an effective expansion into the league but that's not to say that it's never going to happen I mean they won the first Stanley Cup for an American team there is a potential that Seattle could be a new team in the next few years maybe the next five to ten years because the, the rumours around the thing were Las Vegas, Quebec and Seattle were the three teams that were interested so just because they didn't file a formal application doesn't mean they're not really interested in making a team. So Seattle could be a new place where an NHL team lands. Three. Toronto 2. Even though the Toronto Maple Leafs and the AHL Toronto Marlies are housed within the city, Toronto is always mentioned as a potential expansion site to bring another NHL franchise to the city. Now, if this happened, I have a feeling it would be very similar to the New York Islanders-New York Rangers rivalry. Now, there have been talks to bring another team into town, so it's not completely off the cards, but no application for expansion was sent to the NHL before the deadline. So... Once again, similar to Seattle, just because there hasn't been a formal application doesn't mean there isn't interest there. So this is a potential that could happen. There could be another team in Toronto. I mean, there are several other uh, places in Canada that a team could be made, but Toronto or Montreal or something like that, if they're going to want to enter a big hockey market, create another rivalry and really sort of mix things up, maybe having it in the Toronto area or the Montreal area would really, really pick things up. Number four... Houston. Now, Houston supposedly is the largest market in the USA or Canada without an NHL franchise currently in the league. Now, this team, if it was to be made, would create a quick rivalry with the Dallas Stars, both being Texas teams, and has the potential to grow into a thriving market due to the success that the Dallas Stars have had since moving to Texas. They were the Minnesota North Stars, now they're the Dallas Stars. They've won the cup there once or twice since moving to Dallas. So they've had some great players like Mike Modano and Louis Erickson play there. 
And they, they've had a, uh, Marty Turco and people like that. They've had some solid players there. However, according to the owner of the NHL Capacity Toyota Center in Houston, there is no current interest in an NHL team. So whilst Houston would be a great place to put an NHL team, it doesn't look like there's any interest there. Sorry, Houston fans. You're going to have to keep going to those Dallas games. The fifth one. And finally, Saskatoon. Now, Saskatoon almost had the St. Louis Blues franchise move to their city in the 1983-1984 season. However, the NHL vetoed it. So it, looked, it seemed like all the paperwork was done. All of the deals had been made. The franchise was ready to move. Then the NHL said, nope, we like having the St. Louis market open as a hockey franchise. You're sticking around, St. Louis Blues. And there you go. So Saskatoon never got their NHL franchise. Now, although no bid for expansion has been made by Saskatoon, the city has hosted preseason games for the NHL in the last few years. So they're starting to put themselves on the map, I think, for an NHL franchise. They're starting to say, look, we can host preseason games. If we can host preseason games, we can host regular season games. So come and give us a franchise. Now, four out of five of the teams that we've discussed haven't actually put a bid for expansion out. I think Quebec was the only one out of the five that has actually tried to make an effort to get an expanding team there. So these other four choices haven't made that effort, but that doesn't mean the interest isn't there. I think uh, Houston and Saskatoon are the two that have the least potential, just because the owner of the Houston Toyota Center isn't interested. Saskatoon hasn't really shown a huge amount of interest. Now, Seattle and Toronto too, they're sort of more in the middle. Quebec's up the top as sort of the, the ones that want to join the league. So it'll be very interesting to see if the league is expanded further within the next few years. I could potentially see it happening. I think they need to even out at least 32 teams. I think having 31 teams is such an awkward number. Having an odd number when you have one team play another team, so that's two teams a game, it just makes it such an awkward number. But yes, please feel free to let me know what you think about the potential expansions in the comments below. Do you think there's any other cities that could do with an NHL franchise? Please feel free to let me know. But thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you have enjoyed. Please feel free to like, subscribe, share, watch some of my other videos. Thank you very much for watching, and goodbye.